Brooklyn Greg Johnston and welcome to the Wandering Wesleyan. This is my first video that I've done and uh, this is going to be a new series and uh, your question may be why? Why another person talking about the Bible, talking about Jesus? We have so many out there. Well, as I heard once before and I'm going to paraphrase this, it may not be the best uh, video log, vi vlog, podcast out there, but it's my best. Um, this has come from my Sunday school class and people missing classes and wanting to catch up. So I figured I'd do a, uh, a video series on, on uh, all that I teach in my Sunday school class. And if you like it, I would love it if you could like and uh, like this video and subscribe. Uh, that will ha help uh, spread this video and spread my series that I'm going to be having. Now, why the name Wandering Wesleyan? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, Wandering Wesleyan comes from my testimony, and you can see that on my uh, blog site, uh, the Wandering Wes wanderingwesleyan.com. And there's going to be a link in the show notes uh, to my blog. It comes from my testimony in that when I uh, became a follower of Jesus at age 15, um, my family wasn't Christian. We didn't go to church. And so I had the opportunity to go to many different churches, many different churches. And uh, one of my favorite churches that I went to was my friend's church, whose dad was a Methodist minister. and. Uh, this was a formative period of my time. So I, I, I went largely to this Methodist church when I was uh, in high school. I also went to my girlfriend's church, which was a Baptist church. I didn't know the difference between the two. Um, and then I was in a singing group that was a part of a Christian Missionary Alliance church. Uh, and we held practice in a uh, pretty fundamentalist Baptist church. So. I got the gamut. And then the singing group went to all different kinds of churches, Nazarene, Baptist, Independent, Pentecost, all kinds. And But my real heart was in the Methodist church because it was there that I discovered John Wesley and especially the hymns of his brother Charles Wesley. And uh, Charles Wesley became a, a big influence on my theology. Uh, over a period of time. Uh, when I went to college, I, uh, I, I met a young woman and uh, we began dating and she was Catholic. Hmm. And she was charismatic. And this was, this completely blew my mind because I didn't know very much about Catholicism. I didn't know very much about um, the charismatic movement. Uh, so I was exposed to that, but she and I decided to go to a Methodist church, and we were very steady at a Methodist church for a long time. Um, I had an experience with the Holy Spirit, and that's in my testimony. I, I won't get into that now, but that experience led me to uh, also really think about where I was spiritually. And on a, a trip to Europe that I made uh, during my college years, I grew very, very fond of the Catholic Church. Um, I also didn't have a real grip on what grace meant. I still felt that I had to earn my salvation. And um, I'm not saying this of all Catholics. Uh, I have a deep and profound respect for the Roman Catholic Church. Um, I disagree profoundly on many theological issues with the Roman Catholic Church, but I understand it's a part of my history as a Protestant, it's a part of my history as a Wesleyan, is uh, the Roman Catholic Church. So I became Catholic for a period of time, um, left the Catholic Church, and uh, after a really, really dark period in my life, and went to a Protestant church, a Reformed Protestant church, and was a Reformed Calvinist for another number of years. Um, that didn't stick too well. Um, and my wife and I, used to be my girlfriend, now my wife, uh, traveled around to different churches. We were part of a uh, 
uh, Christian Missionary Alliance Church. When we moved to the Charlotte area, uh, we went to a very large uh, mega church. Uh, I'll talk about the, that experience in my video series as we go along. Um, and um, also went to a, a vineyard church, a small, small vineyard church. Uh, eventually after COVID, well actually during COVID, uh, the Vineyard Church turned into a small house church that didn't need uh, a, a teaching pastor anymore. So I felt I needed to bring my gifts to a church that needed, um, that was looking for my gifts and we found a small United Methodist Church, thus the Wandering Wesleyan. Um, I wandered um, to many different experiences and now I'm at home in a church that was United Methodist, but we have since separated from the denomination and are an independent church with very profound Wesleyan uh, distinctives. In my next video, uh, I will talk about what that means, the Wesleyan distinctives and what my theological background is, what I'm going to bring to you in this video series, what my point of view will be. So, Wandering Wesleyan. Now, one of the things I, I want to talk about is I'm going to leave comments on. I want people to comment. I want to have discussion. I'm not into debate. I really don't like debating. I used to debate all the time. Um, and I, I don't see that it's fruitful anymore for Christians to debate. I think it's very fruitful for Christians to have discussions. And what's the difference between the two? Debate means that I am trying to persuade another person that my side is better. My side makes more sense. And indeed, I do. I do believe that my side makes more sense. But I want to understand the other person's side more than I want to convince them that I'm right. And I think that's the difference between discussion and debate. I want to understand where people are coming from. So when somebody who disagrees with me puts a comment on my videos, I welcome that. I welcome that as a point of discussion. I don't want them to feel like I'm trying to dissuade them of what they believe, but maybe we can clarify with each other and come to an understanding of what we believe. And that could be between Christians. It can be if you're a non-believer, uh, if you're a non-follower of Jesus, if you're a Muslim, if you're a Mormon. Um, I'd love to hear from you in your comments on, uh, on the different things that I'm going to be talking about going forward. So what am I going to be talking about going forward? Well, um, next video I'm going to talk about my theological distinctives, my theological background and um and get into my position and where i'm going to be coming from after that i'm going to start a series called walking in the word and this is going to be a long one because it's going to be an overview of the bible uh starting in genesis going all the way through revelation um we're going to start with a focus on the first three chapters of genesis and then we're going to take off and start gaining some altitude and go through the Bible at a 35,000 foot uh, view just to get an idea of how this book works. My goal, and this was a Sunday school class, is a Sunday school class currently ongoing, my goal for this, sun, for this class and for these videos is for folks to be very comfortable reading scripture and picking up the Bible and, and maybe starting in Genesis and reading through in a year. Uh, maybe picking up the Bible and flipping it open and hitting Ezekiel and knowing what it means to be reading Ezekiel within the narrative of the Bible. So that's going to be the first uh, series that I'll be doing. Um, I'm not sure how many videos that'll be, my Sunday school classes are about an hour long. These videos, I'm going to be keeping to about 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, that way they're a little bit more digestible. So 
it may it may be somewhere around 25 26 videos for this walking in the word but we're going to start in genesis we're going to get a real solid grip on the first three chapters of genesis we're going to take off go through the torah go through some history uh look at the wisdom literature look at the prophets take a uh, a step back look at the intertestamental period what happened during that time in between the last book of the Old Testament, and the first book of the New Testament. And uh, then we're going to dive into the New Testament, um, looking at Matthew and Mark, uh, then Luke and Acts, the letters of Paul, the other episode, the other letters that are in the New Testament. And we're going to finish up with John and his writings, the gospel the uh, Sermon of First John, uh, his two letters, and then the Book of the Apocalypse, what we know as Re Revelation. So that is going to be the first series. I have other series that I've written, uh, Galatians, Ephesians, I'm sorry, Galatians and uh, Romans uh, are, are two series that we'll be doing um, much further, probably uh, late into next year. I'll be getting in, into either one of those and the Gospel of Mark, uh, going through that. So, The Wandering Wesleyan. I've taken a long road to get to uh, the place where I am now. I'm going to talk a little bit about the theological path that I, uh, that I am currently following and uh, currently is influencing me. And uh, that will be in our next video. So again, please like this video and subscribe. And uh, each week I'll be giving you a 15 to 20 minute video uh, with some biblical content. So for this week, be blessed and uh, take care. <music>